So I've got a really exciting series for you and starting with this video. So what we're gonna be doing is learning how to create animated components. Now we've done this before on the channel, but what's different about this series is we're gonna be using um, a new tool. It's not that new, but it's new to this series. And we're going to be creating animations in Figma, but also learning how to create those animations in After Effects, which is an Adobe software. But even more exciting than that, we're going to be creating them as Lottie animations. Um, and this means that we can directly put these anima animations onto our website's apps, hand them over to developers ready to go so they don't have to recreate them in CSS or uh, we don't have to use GIFs which are really expensive and um, quite heavy to use. Uh, we don't need to use videos again, um, not that ideal. We can create animated components exactly how we want them with awesome animations but we can then hand over to developers or learn how to easily integrate into the code ourselves. So let me give you an example of that. So I've created this animation here in Figma um, using this interactive component. And this is what we're gonna be building um, throughout this series. We're gonna start by building it in Figma. We're then gonna take it into After Effects, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we're going to be exporting that as a Lottie file and learning what we can do with Lottie files. Um, so this video is just an overview of what we're going to be capturing in the series and what we're going to be learning. Um, so let me show you what, we've, what we're going to be building. So this is just a really quick mock-up in Figma. Um, it's one component with a load of different states. And if we have a look, we can see that they animate between the different states. And we can see what that looks like here. So we've got this kind of liquid um, toggle button which let's face it is way more exciting than your standard toggle which would just be on and off it'd be an instant transition between the two states this has got a really nice animation that is nice and fluid um, but also is quick enough that it doesn't add any friction to the user experience which is also really cool so these little micro interactions add a lo lot of um, fun and whimsy to your designs and add that extra layer of quality that a lot of um, digital products these days are missing. But we can take it one step further. We can't do anything with this. What can we do with this? We can hand it over to a developer um, and then they can figure out how to rebuild this in CSS. And let's face it, unless you've got um, a developer that's on your team that's really into working with complicated CSS animations, they're not going to be too happy to be receive this. It's going to take them a lot of time, a lot of back and forth, and it's going to be quite complicated. So this is where After Effects comes in. We After Effects is a um, motion graphics tool in uh, part of the Adobe suite. And just let me just close that chat for a second. Um, and we could do some really cool stuff with this. So if I just scroll through, we can see that we've got this really nice fluid. Look at that bounce there and a nice transition. So I'm going to play that in real time now. OK, so that's got a really cool fluid feel. It feels organic. It looks like I'm calling this a liquid toggle because it's quite fluid. It's almost like a jelly um, or a liquid. And we're going to be learning how to create that. So we're going to start in Figma. We're going to bring it into After Effects. We're going to recreate it in After Effects. We're going to be using all these beautiful curves, things like this. Um, and we're going to learn how to create this and learn how to use After Effects. Now, there is a caveat with this that we do need to use After Effects. Um, and I don't believe there is an open source solution for this. Um, and After Effects isn't the cheapest. You need to either purchase the app or um, subscribe to the creative suite but if you were just wanting to follow along in this tutorial series you could probably download the uh, trial from adobe um, which i'll hopefully put above if not search for adobe and then go to their creative cloud uh, creative suite and download the trial and you can get after effects from there um, yeah so we are going to be creating this so yeah a really nice fluid toggle but again this After Effects is going to export this as a video, which we can then convert to a GIF or something like that. But GIFs and videos, they're not great for use in UI. One, they're really hard to position. They're not gonna uh, work directly with the code. So actually toggling these on and off, it's gonna be really tricky to get that to work. Um, for a developer to recreate this in CSS isn't ideal. So 
we're going to be exporting this as a Lottie file. So let's learn what Lottie is. I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat drum, pawning some bad, I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, 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 big. Listen! Okay, so we're back and we are now on the Lottie Files website and we can see here this is actually a Lottie. I'm guessing this is possibly a Lottie too or this might just be CSS animation. But you could create this in After Effects as text and export it as a Lottie so you can have these animations work like this. But this here is a perfect example of a Lottie. It's a um, animated graphic that is also an SVG so it's pixel perfect and it's scalable to any size and also it's tiny so we can learn a bit more about that here so what is it we can see a PNG if we wanted to do this with PNG files PNG being an image with an alpha channel it would take 50 files and each file is probably going to be a few hundred kilobytes at least and it's pixelated so or it's rasterized so it's going to contain pixels which means as you scale it on your site or app it's going to look pixelated if it scales. Same with the GIF. GIF, we can see it's 375 kilobytes. It's actually a really small animation here as well. Um, and it doesn't look that great. But this Lottie here is only 56 kilobytes, so it's absolutely tiny. Um, if we have a look, we can see it's 600 times smaller and 10 times faster to ship um, than a GIF. And it looks brilliant. It's fluid and it's really low intensity on your um, computer's rendering. Here's some more examples. These are just some of the free ones that are uh, from creators that have shared it. You can download a lot of these, so um, you can go to Discover, go down to Free Animations, and you can download these files. So let's have a look at SM Roni's here. We can download it here, um, so the JSON file. Um, you can download it as a GIF if you want, or a video, but you really want to download it as a JSON file and play around with it. So let's have a look at some examples that I've used previously. So on my website here, actually, if you go to wilbrettdesign.co.uk, um, I'll try and put the link below. This here, this is a Lottie file. So it's not actually text, it's animated in After Effects, um, and then it's rendered on the website. And if I do a refresh of the page, you can see, well, let me refresh without a link already in there. Try that again. There we go. You can see it loads instantly. It's such a small file, it loads really quickly. So we have no issues there. Um, it's actually smaller than if I'd used an image. Slightly larger if I'd just used text, but um, we wouldn't have all these nice animations here. Again, this could be achieved using CSS animation, but I think it's much nicer as a Lottie. As a designer, I find it much nicer to work in After Effects. I can play around with the curves as much as I like and it's a great result. So let's have a look at a few more. Okay, so we are just having a look at uh, a few different examples. I recently became a evangelist for Lottie and I'm gonna be doing a load more videos with Lottie files um, as we go, lots of tutorials. I, I've used Lottie files for years in my personal projects as well as my uh, career. Um, you, if you look at some of the projects I've worked on in the past, you'll see loads of examples of where I've used Lottie in products. So here's, here's one. This is just an animated graphic that I created a little while ago um, as part of a celebration. Uh, this was part of a onboarding sequence when you completed it. We had a nice um, illustration to go along with the messaging once a form was completed. Um, going into a bit more what Lottie files are, feel free to read this, it's on my website, it's on my blog, easy to find. Um, 
Again, I've already shown you this one. So this is another example. Again, this is a Lottie loading here. This isn't a video, this isn't a GIF, this is actually the Lottie file being played. Here's another example of a password screen. Um, motion graphic of an email, just uh, again, part of an onboarding sequence and a nice uh, parcel or present animation here. Here's uh, a pretty cool one using Face ID and Touch ID. Again, examples um, which are kind of more along the illustrated or graphic side, um, but you can use Lottie for UI as well easily. So yeah, just a quick summary of what we're going to be doing in this uh, video series. We're going to be creating animations in Figma directly. Um, as kind of rough mock-ups of what we're going to be creating in After Effects. We're get, then going to take those designs, all those design blueprints, um, over into After Effects. We're then going to be creating these animations in After Effects. And I'm going to be showing you how to do all these um, stretch and squashes, um, how to use the curves, how to blend between colors, all these nice things to get you kick-started using Lottie in your design workflow, um, which I think will put you heads above the rest of designers um, who are just able to create stuff in Figma as mock-ups and then hand it over to the developers. This will give you a leg up on other designers because you'll be able to actually create these animations code ready um, to ship to put straight into the app uh, or your website or your digital product without any need for the developers to recreate your animations in CSS. Um, no need to use horrible GIFs or videos that are going to be sluggish, slow to load, um, and also uh, intensive on your operating system or CPU or whatever it is being used. Um, so yeah, this, this is a really exciting series. I'm really, really keen to get going. We're going to start off with just this toggle, but if the, if out there you you like what we're doing here we can do we can bring this to whatever you like really we can bring we can be looking at kind of closed menus hamburger menus anything really that you can think of we can do um, as an animation and we can get this shipped so make sure you uh, subscribe and like this video make sure you watch the rest of the series this will be a step-by-step -step series uh, with videos coming out frequently um, Make sure you go check out Lottie Files and read the documentation there. There's loads of tutorials on their site and their YouTube um, for you to learn more. And I'm really excited to get going with this. So see you in the next video.